What it do, Ski? My fellow Jets fans, what's poppin', man? You already know what it is. We getting it back into motion, man. Hey, I love it. I love the slogan. I love the new motive, the new motion. All gas, no brakes, baby. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, look, this man's ready to play now. Two years, big money. Seen him in one game. You know what I'm saying? And when he was in that first half of that game, he was causing havoc. I think he had two picks, one touchdown for a pick, six. You remember that against Buffalo, man. Josh Allen wouldn't have been the same if we had had uh, that real slogan, that real uh, scheme, that real coaching system, but we had Adderall. So my man opted out. You remember the video I made, right? You remember that, man? I was upset at this guy right here. This is my man, though. But I, I, I made a video. I was like, man, how you going to opt out on that COVID? Do, do, do. I was upset, man. You know? But hey, my man was trying to protect his family, protect himself. And I uh, can't knock. I, can't, I could knock his personal decision. And I honestly feel like the man didn't want to play for that, that bullshit that was... Uh, that, that Adderall system, that, that scheme, that, that weak-ass system that we had. You know, Adam Gates was garbage, man. I wouldn't want to play for that fool either. Who would have? The whole team didn't want to play for him. But anyway, we are in a new era. We are in a new way and a new wave, and I feel great about it. I'm not lying, man. Look, it is tomorrow, and we... We have such a new wave and a new energy in the building. And it feels good to know that. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I say that is because we ain't had no real energy in two years, man. Listen, I've been a Jets fan since the age of four. And um, I've seen some, I've witnessed some bad years in the 80s. I witnessed some bad years in the 90s. I ain't never witnessed no years like we we uh, endured in, in these last couple years. I mean, that, that, those were the worst years I've ever experienced on any sports product I've ever witnessed. And being a fan of it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just hyped up. I made several videos in the last few days. And I, I mean, seriously, I feel it in the air. I feel it in the... Um, the, the wave that we got, the future that we are uh, building up on, man. I'm glad for the... Johnson & Johnson, big ups to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all finally... I think y'all finally got it right, man. I'm glad y'all really, really uh, sat down, analyzed the situation, and put y'all's fucking thinking caps together to, to, to really recognize that us as fans needed something like this. You know, I, th I really believe in Robert Sala. I really do. I, re I believe in the, the LaFour offense. Um, I believe in that system, the Shanahan system. You saw what they did to us in 1998. I'm never going to forget that game. We was up 10-0 halftime, man. Vinny and them was up. Curtis Martin and them was up. Wayne Corbett and them was up 10-0. I was talking trash to my friends. I'm in Colorado, so I'm like talking trash to my friends. I'm like, look, man, we going to the we going to the big bowl, man. We going to the bowl, right? And it's been mentally scarred me forever to see that and witness that because that was the best Jets team I've ever witnessed with um, Tuna. You know what I'm saying? Bill Parcells had that team rolling that year. I, I want to say we was 12 and four. Jacksonville thought they was tough. We knocked them off. We knocked Brunell and them off easy, easy peasy. You know what I'm saying? Like, our our, our, our craft was crazy that year. Um, but, yeah, that was the last time that I felt like I witnessed. That was the best Jets team I've ever witnessed. You know, we had the Kenny O'Briens in 1986. I think we went 11-5, and five, but we had a lot of injuries in 86 against Dan Marino and them. Uh, lost to the Browns in double overtime, 23-20. Oh, I was at my uncle's house as a young kid running around, snotty nose, and remember that, man. We was 20-20 in the OT and lost it. Bernie Kozar, man. 
let the Broncos get over to the Super Bowl to get their ass beat. Remember that? I'm serious, man. I go back, bro. <laughs> it's, this is bringing me back to all the goodness, the greatness, the um, the, the the goods, the ups and downs, you know, of, of the reason why I'm a Jets fan. So I'm not even from New York, you know. Um, I just have mad love for this team, and I, I don't jump bandwagons. I'm not a bandwagon guy. You know what I'm saying? I just became a Jets fan when I saw... Uh, you know what made me a Jets fan? Uh, when I saw the Jets beat the Dolphins, I think it went to overtime. It was in 85. 85, 86. Kenny O'Brien versus Dan Marino. It was a slant. It was a shootout. It was like 45 to 42 or something crazy, man. But, yo, we had... Uh, Al Toon, of course. We have Freeman McNeil, I want to say. Brad Baxter. Um, I forget the other wide receiver, which was dope. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's the one that won it. I forget my man's name, but Kenny O'Brien winded up, went deep, touchdown in, uh, not MetLife, but in uh, the Jersey Stadium. You feel me? And yeah, from that moment, I was like, man, this is my team. Unfortunately, I didn't understand that this team was going to have as bad as they had as far as years to come with Joe Walton and them. You know, uh, God bless the dead, man. Joe Walton did what he could. Um, Bruce Coslett, man. Woo. Those years was whack. That was in the early 90s, mid 90s. Right before my man Tuna stepped in. But anyway, man, not trying to ramble on, man. The Jets, man, we, we, we back and we at it. You know, we think the last spark of life we had was with Rex Ryan and, and, and Mark Sanchez. You know what I'm saying? Like, that defense was stout. We had Bart Scott and them. You know what I mean? Like, we was ready. We was ready for war. That them years, 2009, 2010, two AFC champion. Ships uh, that we both endured the pain of, and um, ain't been shit ever since. But I feel good about this team, man. I mean, I feel good about this team for real. Um, so we shall see tomorrow, one o'clock Eastern, in Carolina versus the old quarterback, man. We shall see what's going on. And I'm not, again, if we end up losing this game tomorrow, at least it'll be with courage. At least it'll be with effort. At least it'll be with fighting until we can't fight no more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping um, on both teams, on both sides of the ball, no injuries. I wish the best for the Panthers with uh, our old boy. You know what I'm saying? You know me as a Sam Darnold fan. Um, I wish nothing but the best for him. Um, Robbie Anderson, McCaffrey, and all them boys over there. But we gotta stay healthy. And we gotta get these. We gotta. We gotta put a stamp on this on this season with a win tomorrow. I would love to see that dub tomorrow. Like we put a stamp on them. Boom. One and zero. Oh. Can you imagine? Robert Sala. You know everybody that doubts us in in the media world. You know what I mean? I, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Stephen A. Smith. You know. Uh, Especially Colin. I call him Colin. Colin called work. Colin's work, man. Colin, Colin, man. Talking about. Oh, you know, um, Zach Wilson reminds me a little bit of uh, Johnny Manziel. What? <laughs> Off with your head. Slap that boy. Slap, slap your own self with that bullshit you said, man. First off, he ain't partying like that. Second off, he is a little bit taller than him. I know what you was trying to get at with his size. This dude has work, work ethic. Johnny Manziel had party ethic. Two different scenarios. Colin, we gonna watch you eat your words too. You gonna be like, I told you all along, watch. He's gonna eat his words and he's gonna say, I told you all along, Zach Wilson from BYU. Yeah, we gonna, I can't wait to hear that. I can't wait, man. Two TDs, no picks, 250 yards. Let's go. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Get it, baby. I'm out.